somebody you know, somebody who likes you and wants you to be successful, wants me to talk to you about your slovenly email technique. You know, electronic mail is one of the blessings of the digital age. It helps us organize our thoughts into searchable electronic manuscripts, to, to shift the time and the place that we work, to link our ideas to people around the world at the touch of a button. But some people think you can be a real slob when you create an email message. They chatter out incoherent blobs of text, misspelled, mispunctuated, badly thought through, just an incoherent stream of consciousness. For crying out loud, you're an author preparing a text for a reader. Why wouldn't you want to make it as legible as possible, as effective as possible? Let's see how we can clean this up. How about a meaningful subject line and a proper salutation? Think through the text you're composing and maybe add some paragraph and line breaks to give some structure to this mess. If you don't know how to spell, buy a dictionary. If you can't write an English sentence, take a class or get one of those writing for dummies books. If you need more time, take it. Just don't waste everybody else's time with your incoherent gibberish. And another thing, what's up with these silly, childish, embarrassing nicknames? Easy Lover 27, Sugarpot 15, S Head 69. In the information age, our identity is our most precious asset. The internet would be a lot better place if we all used our real names, and especially on business email, if we had proper signature files that say who you are, where you're from, and why we should listen to anything you have to say. Even more aggravating is the CC chain that goes on for megabytes and then forwarded to your entire address book. From SHead69 to SugarPot15, from SugarPot15 to SHead69, back and forth, back and forth. Dear SHead69, if you have something to say, put it in the first line instead of forwarding me your silly push and pull with SugarPot15. When you commit slovenly emails, you waste the time of your friends and colleagues. You sabotage any message you're trying to get across. You embarrass yourself in cyberspace. We should all try to be better communicators with our email messages. If you need help, there's a list of resources online and in print at the homepage for this video at in3.org slash email. Make the effort to do better emails. Believe me, your friends and colleagues, those who wish you well and want you to be successful, will thank you for it.